to the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles. Halifax looking to go up two zip in the best of seven series against Cape Breton. In the second, one nothing for the Mooseheads. They're on the power play. Jan Jacina from the point beats Mark Andre Fleury, and Halifax has what appears to be a commanding two nothing lead. In the third, two one for Halifax. The Eagles pressing. David Cloutier shoots and scores on the power play. Two two, and once again these teams are heading to overtime. In overtime, Coxheath native Stuart McRae, number 10, with a great effort, splits the defense, works inside, gets the puck on net. Andre Martineau is there on the backhand for the rebound. That's your winner. 3 2, the Eagles win in overtime, thus evening the series 1 1. Here's Stuart McRae talking about that final play. I, I thought I was going to go in on a breakaway, but it, it bounced off my stick, so I just said, ah. Uh... I'm gonna go for it, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get a shot or get a rebound, and uh, worked out. And uh, Martino came in and got the rebound. He did a perfect job on the play. Uh, he worked out. He tried to split the defense, and he had a good shot on net. And uh, I was following him because I know uh, he do that job all the time. And uh, I was there for the rebound, and I uh, had an open net. For sure, it's gonna be a t tough series for for both team. I mean, uh, the, the two games before went in overtime, and uh, like it was like that the whole year. Uh, tie game and stuff and uh, well, nobody said that we were, we were going to win this series in four, nine, in four games so uh, we're going to try to bounce back for the next game. Everybody Thus, evening this series 1 1. Here's Stuart McCray. Are they looking okay? Cape Breton Screaming Eagles with a huge overtime victory in game two of their playoff series, the Battle of Nova Scotia, which is quickly becoming a war as we enter game number three tonight. Eagles with the win in Halifax before what was uh, considered a frenzy crowd, a sellout house. They made a lot of noise, but it was the Eagles who silenced the crowd in overtime when big plays. Stuart McRae with the second point of the night set up Andre the Giant Martineau with a game-winning goal. He faked a shot, then he had all kinds of time to fire it into an Empty net pass to Andelaire. Series very evenly matched. The Mooseheads winning one more game than the Eagles during the regular season. Of course, the first two games in this playoff series going to overtime. The Eagles heavily out shooting the Moose in game two. But just to take it a step further, tell you how close the series has been. During the regular season series, the Mooseheads had 274 shots on goal. The Eagles had 274 shots on goal. So now with the series tied at one, Eagles in perhaps a bit of a driver's seat now if they can win two straight at center 200 possibly head back to Halifax with the edge three games to one but still plenty of hockey to come as we enter game number three at center 200. Global Sports Center 200 in Sydney was a rockin' tonight. The Cape Breton Screaming Eagles hosted the Halifax Mooseheads in Game 3 of their Dilio Conference semifinal. The teams are tied at one game apiece. Both contests so far have gone to overtime. Fans of the Metro Center got behind their team. The Eagles were hoping their fans would do the same. And boy, they were out in full force. A cello crowd at Center 200 tonight. They had their white towels ready to go. And tomorrow's night game sold out too. But the Moosehead strike first, kind of taking the excitement of the fans. I heard with the power play, Alexander Bacard finding Milan Jusina at the corner. One time to buy Flurry. The Mooseheads with a 1-0 lead. The Moose get another opportunity. The shot on goal doesn't get through, but Stuart McCray cops up the puck in front and Jean-Francois Sear finds the back of the net. That's his sixth of the playoffs. The Mooseheads with a two-goal lead. Now the Moose almost get another here. A breakaway for Julio Scandella. His first game back from the flu just couldn't get a shot off. 
I'm Mark Andre Fleury, though. It was 2 0 Halifax after one. Skip ahead to the third. The Eagles already with a two man advantage, and then the Mooseheads' Derek Kent is called for a stick measurement. You don't see this one every day. They haul out the ruler, and it's a penalty. Moosehead coach Sean McKenzie a little incensed. The Eagles make quick work of that five on three. David Cloutier tees one up under the crossbar and in. Eagles on the scoreboard, it's two to one. Still a five on three for the Eagles. Andre Martineau finds Dominic Noel, and the Eagles have come back. We're tied at two. The fans and Keith Breton were on their feet screaming for their Eagles. 55 seconds later, it's the Eagles again. Dominic Noel with a bullet. He lights up the lamp. The Eagles with three goals in one minute and 13 seconds. Cape Breton with a 3-2 lead. The Mooseheads press late in the third to tie this one up, but the Eagles hang on. The Eagles take the lead in this series two games to one with another sellout crowd geared up for tomorrow night at Center 200. Dominic first. The Halifax Mooseheads and the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles in Game 4 at Sydney Centre 200. The Eagles took a 2-1 series lead last night with a 3-2 win. Tonight, the Moose looked to tie it up before heading back to Halifax. First period, the Moose with some quality shots on goal. Milan Urchina is stopped. Louis-Philippe Lassade tries, but Marc-Andre Fleury flashes the leather. The Mooseheads get a power play. Robbie Sutherland circles the net, shoots on goal. It's stopped, but F.P. Gannett is there to grab the rebound. Halifax Mooseheads with a 1-0. Nothing lead. Mooseheads get another power play, but the Eagles clear. And Pierre Luc Laprise with a lead on the Mooseheads. He stops, waits for Dominic Noel, and Noel scores. We're tied at one, and that got the fans on their feet at center 200. Moose looked to get the go ahead goal from the draw. Jason King fires a bullet, but he's stoned by Flurry. The Eagles still tied at one after one. Second period, the Mooseheads. Gilbert with a pass across to Milan Yurchina. He shoots on goal. It goes five hole on Flurry. Moose with a one goal lead after two periods of play. On to the third period. The Mooseheads. Randy Upshaw gets the puck at the point, fires a bullet. It gets by the screen. The Moose. Up three to two, but the Eagles aren't done yet. Dominic Noel gets the pass from Laprise, and he one times it upstairs on Danny DeLeo. The Eagles still in it. It's three to two. Dominic Noel again brings it over the line, fires a shot. It's off Milan Jersina's leg and in. Dominic Noel with the hat trick. He's pumped up. Ladies and gentlemen, we're headed to overtime for the third time in this series. To the overtime, and Moosehead's Jason King with a steal on Cloutier, but he can't quite find the handle. And Dominic Noel looking for another goal tonight. But he's stopped by Dallaire. Here come the herd on another rush. Derek Kent finds Louis Mandeville. He shoots on goal. Flurry is down. Bruce Gillis working hard. And he finally lights up the lamp. His second of the playoffs. Great timing. Mooseheads win it 4-3 in overtime. Whew, what a series this has been. Unbelievable and the Halifax Mooseheads. Welcome back, everybody. That's where we'll begin. The Cape Breton Screaming Eagles seem to be a team on a mission. Tonight, the Eagles came back to the Halifax Metro Centre, looking to go up three games to two on the Mooseheads, and in the process, win another road game in their quest to reach the conference final against Acadie Bathurst. Pick it up in the first, JF24. On his knees, gets a shot away. Andre Martineau jumps on the rebound. 1-0 Eagles. You can make it 3-1 after one. In the second period, Halifax power play. Jersina shoots. Derek Kent grabs the rebound and cuts your lead to 3-2. Halifax will tie the game 3-3. But later on, Cape Breton gets a break. Stuart McRae whiffs off the heel of a stick. Goes five hole on Danny Dallaire. Makes it 4-3. And then in the third with your score 5-4, the empty netter seals the deal for the visitors. 6-4 is the final. Screaming Eagles lead the series 3-2 over Halifax. They go for the win now back at Centre 200 in Sydney. This is a good series of... Number six in the best of seven playoff series, which quickly became a two out of three affair when the team split the first four games. Eagles coming out fast in game number five. Stuart McRae and Andre Martineau both with a pair of goals, getting to Dan Dallaire early. Now this could be the story tonight at Center 200 with the hometown faithful cheering on the Eagles. You want the quick start. Get to Delaire early and then make the Mooseheads play the Eagles game, not vice versa. Many times when the Mooseheads have had the lead in this series, they have gone into a defensive shell and forced the Eagles to try to break that and come back for the lead or possibly a win. So the Eagles looking to wrap.